Well, the wind and the rain continue on into another week. It's Monday now. And it just decided a huge wave of, of this solid downfall. Uh, just poured down and it just kind of subsided a minute. But check out all the bamboo floating by in the water. And there's got to swimming getting it right now. So you'll see him. Uh, where is he at? He's there with it somewhere. Okay, he's kind of bobbing in and out of the water. Right, let me see. Get folks there. Okay, so you see, there he is out there swimming, getting that bamboo. Right there. But now let's go out past him. Look at all those sticking up out of the water. It's all bamboo floating by. Those rivers and the mountains must really be washing out and there's just more of it everywhere I could pan back this other direction and we're gonna see more again somewhere <laughs> there it should be coming into view here yeah there's some right there as well Waves just down from us are really kicked up right there. Um, I mean, there's some of them rolling up. Man, I, I'm seeing some rolling up as maybe as high as eight feet. And uh, over in front of us, it's not doing that. So the currents must have shifted some sand and built up a big sandbar right in that area that's causing that, that surf to roll up so big right in that spot because it wasn't doing that. Inside in here, um, I bought this track, and we're going to hide away those camera wires coming down that corner. So we're putting this little track right here on the wall that um, will disguise all that in. So we're just doing these little knockout things around right here on a rainy day. Man, the thing about all these coconut trees is they have all the stuff that blows off of them constantly. Like, it'll come from the neighbor's trees, from our own trees and all. And one of the reasons it's so important to have screens on these drains. Yeah, so it's kind of had this one blocked. I cleaned the drain itself out this morning. But I got a couple clogged down here too. which They got a, a double layer of screen on them. So I asked Nardo if he'll go down through here and pull this upper one off and I just want to throw those Phillips screws that it came with it's crazy that you buy a stainless steel drain and they put ordinary screws in it um, and we have to take these out often enough that I really don't care anything about putting a screw back I just want the cover sitting there so we can lift them up at any time and clean out the drains on there That'll be all right. We'll just fill it a little bit in the front. So we have this door right here coming off of our master bedroom. We've never put the threshold in on. And we have not finished and stained the jam or nothing either. Uh, in this wet weather right now, this time of year, it's next to impossible to do that. 
because when we do the project we want to do all the exterior doors and uh, it's just not the right time of year for that to be going on I brought these from the United States I did not buy them here uh, sent them in a buying box and I do not regret it all now most Filipino homes is just like you see it there right now they just have the tile ends and the door down close and sweep out there is so much air blows in underneath that door. It is unreal, and it leaves a place for all those geckos to enter into your house um, and any other creatures that want to enter in, spiders or anything. So um, I'm not going to live like that. So this a modern home. It's going to have modern conveniences, and there's only way so far I'm going to go with their way. They like where they can just sweep right out the door without the broom hitting thing on anything on the edge but um, I don't want it that way so he'll probably have to trim the bottom of this door off just a little bit he'll probably be taking this door down and will probably take maybe like a half inch off the bottom of the door and the reason I want to do that is I want the door up far enough that if we have like a little throw rug right there that I want it that the door can go over the top of the throw rug without it grabbing it and sliding it and jamming on it. So um, I do want a little bit of a lip right there. And the front door was put down low and I asked Joel if he'll go around and pull the jam on it and we're gonna reset it and cut the bottom of the front door off on there also to where once again that we can have a, a mat, a, a rug just inside the door and the door's not grabbing it and sliding across it all the time. You can just snap it right on now. Put it up there. You don't have to slide it. It'll snap right on. Take it off. Yeah, you start right up at the top. Put it in there. And it'll snap right over it. Yep, just push it hard. It'll snap on. Yep. It's just because you didn't push it enough. Now you got it. There it is. That'll blend in a whole lot better than had a bunch of black wires hanging down on a white wall. That'll work. That right, will work right there. It looks good. Joel, before we put that on there, what? we need to reseal the bottom of that door with something uh, to keep the bugs and stuff from wanting yeah. to go on that wood. We just don't want to scratch the wall in here with that door. Maybe, maybe just lean it outside against the railing out there. Yeah. Yeah, put some kind of that, mix up a little bit of that urethane and put on the bottom of it. Yeah. And, and this also, while you're doing it, go ahead and rub some, um, some stain around it on the edges too. Set it out of here so you can do these there's edges you can't get to do these and do the bottom yeah um i tell you what put some selignum on this because that wood right there the bugs will eat it so go treat that with selignum and, and look here take a hammer and knock these down yeah knock those down see everybody they don't they didn't set those and you need to set them so and that's just got an ordinary pine and termites will go crazy for that here so he definitely needs to treat this so yeah go go put a, a bunch of selignum on that maybe put a little selignum on the bottom of this door <clears throat> so we're here at the front door 
Joel just cut this threshold loose. It had already been mounted in. And it was that he did it down even with a floor tile because that's just what they're used to here. But um, we couldn't have a rug or anything here in front of the door. And the threshold was really useless because uh, might as well just have tile only if it's down even with the tile. So they'll have to take this door off now and do the same thing. They're going to have to cut the door and take some of it off the bottom of it there. Um, and it'd be a whole lot better. And then I have a sweep that once they get that done, I'll put a sweep on the door too and it'll close that final little crack that'll be there on the door. Now, they do have that rubber sweep that goes on the bottom and I can't remember if I brought in those from the U.S. or not. I'll go down and look in my toolbox and see, but uh, they're going to add a layer of... Um, right, what did you mix to put underneath right there? Is that cement? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, did you put some adhesive in it? Yo, yeah. oh, good. That's what I was going to ask you to do. Good job. Good job. Don't want to put just straight cement. It'll crack and break out over time. And you needed to bond. Hey, Narn, get a get a uh, hammer and nail and chip that top a little bit. Chip, chip, chip. Okay. <clears throat> Got this little hole saw here. It's really for wood, but this soft aluminum, I think it'll drill it and it's real thin. You see it? I couldn't mark it with a pencil. Somebody got my pencil. <laughs> <laughs> right in the middle, yeah. So it came with this hole here already for like if the drain came way out the bottom. Had a little plastic cap in it. I'm thinking that between this hole and that one, the pipes will line up where I don't have to put two holes. Yeah, it's just made like with a thin aluminum and it's kind of like a honeycombed aluminum. So it's got an upper layer and a lower layer and like a honeycomb in between it. go pick it up let's pick it up and set it over those pipes there yeah see that'll work out that'll work out right there yeah so it did it worked out it was able to use the hole that's already in it so okay yeah yeah that's where you got to put them at it's right there now does this have a backsplash Real small one, but it may have a faucet. So put put this line down, go down, see. You got it, don't want to cover this up. So you want to be down here on this one. Oh, okay. Okay. Right, yeah, yeah. Okay, that way you're you're clearing your hole right there. Okay, we put a outlet out here on the wall also. Okay. had um, some pretty good sized pieces of tile left over. They weren't full tiles, but there was a lot of good sized usable pieces, especially when you got a two foot by two foot tile. And we've already got some spare pieces in case any of this breaks. And we stored all that spare up here on top of the CR. We got spares of gray, we got spare of the CR floor. We, down uh, underneath another staircase, we have also spares. So, we have spares of every single tile we used on this place. Because you may never see it again. If somebody breaks one down the line, you want to chisel that out. Then you're going to have an odd man out in your floor. So it's worth it to get some spares and store them. And now I'm going to tell a funny little story, and I'm not trying to be mean here, but my late brother-in-law, Toby, from Sweden, and the little house that we used to have that he had built, he had spare tiles, and he put the spare tiles up. And when he wasn't around, the family got the spare tiles and they used them over at their little uh, native houses for decoration and landscaping borders and and uh, all this stuff. But Toby, he even has some paint there. 
that he didn't want nobody getting. That was his paint for doing touch-up. He had some, like a half a gallon of this left or that. And so he knew there might be some work and he needs to do touch-up. But they grabbed and took it all without asking or anything. He got pretty mad. Actually, he got so upset that uh, one of the boys kind of got smart with him. And he filed a blotter on him, which is just kind of unheard of to let it go that far. I wouldn't have done that. But but he did. He, he filed a blotter over it because he was so aggravated of them taking his things. And I'm hoping some lessons have been learned from the guys over that. I'm hoping, but we uh, are putting all these full length spare pieces up and out of sight. And of course, if they wanted to come get them, I guess they could when we're not around, but I'm not thinking, I'm not thinking they will. Now, back to what I was saying, there's a lot of large pieces here. And I asked the guys earlier if they wanted some of these because and their little houses they have, um, there's some pretty good sized pieces that they could either make a pattern with the different sizes or um, trim them all up to be equal with each other and some border pieces and all and, and tile a floor. And Mott Mott was hesitant. He first thought about doing maybe a CR, but he thought that one kind of be too slick. and. Joel, he thought about it. Nardo spoke up and said, hey, I want it. And so, Martin Nardo, you can have it. And he's toting that stuff down, putting it out by the street right now. And he's going to have one of those e-bike tricycles come over here, pick it up, and take it over to his house. Um, it's a pretty good bit. And, you know, it really was a pretty good bit. And I, I know that they'll, um, or he'll make really good use of that. And I'm proud that he got it. Because I'm going to tell you what, if he hadn't to take it, taking it I would have kept it here and eventually I would have found a use for it but I don't want to get too much clutter here so uh, uh, send it on its way y'all gotta check this out you see this I know y'all gonna get so worn out with this right check it out it's in the afternoon right now cloudy rainy day and that wind generator has just been impeccable now a lot of these things that you buy out of China they're super overrated this one came from Missouri wind but I did not like anything they have for charge controllers. If Missouri Wind would couple these charge controllers with that, uh, they call Freedom 2 wind generator with the dual permanent magnet, in it. that's what mine has. Uh, man, it's a winner, winner, chicken dinner right there. So I want to show you all what we've been working on. I didn't video it while I was working on it. But as y'all see, this is a piece of the old form board from the house right here that we built this house with. And now I want to show you what we put on it here. So I put some of that foam insulation on this board, glued it with this uh, spray adhesive that our friend Vince dropped by and gave me this can one day. And he brought it from Texas. And uh, I said, man, I can use that. And I sprayed that plywood with that 3M77 right there. I sprayed the back of that foam insulation like it's right up here on the house. And uh, applied a layer of foam on there. So it'd be soft. Makes it nice to stretch this over. Glued it down. And stretched this map over it. Now let me tell you about this map. This map, this piece of cloth, I found this in the US. We are going through and uh, cleaning up properties and all, and somebody had this out with junk to be thrown away. And I said, man, that is a nice piece of cloth. And uh, it, was, it was in a dirty piece of plastic bag, but man, the cloth was clean. And I said, man, I like that right there. And I knew instantly what I wanted it for. I wanted it for this right here to make the hang on my wall. So I thought it'd be befitting to take some of the form board from this house and uh, make this. So I stretched it on it. I went around, stapled it all on here really well. Yeah, it looks really cool. I like it. That's some nice color there on the wall. You like that little sink there?
So I had a little tragedy today. Tragedy, one of my solar lights I've had for a long time. This uh, light, it shattered it. Let me see if I can turn on the light here on the... <clears throat> you see it shattered the solar panel on top. It took a fall. Man, this thing's been out there on the front of our outdoor CR for a long time, putting out great light, man. It's wonderful. But look at the corrosion, man. I, it, it up there in the air, I didn't even notice all that corrosion. Just look at that. And then what happened is, is it rusted off. The pipe actually just rusted into right down where it was welded to the base. And it took a fall, but it's still functioning. So tomorrow, I'm going to... Uh, lift this panel up it's just kind of loose here right now and even though the glass is all broke on it I'm gonna put construction adhesive or or maybe silicone I've got some tubes of silicone I'll put silicone down in there and uh, press this down and try to reseal it and even though that glass is cracked the panels seem to still be charging the battery was still intact so uh, I'll do a little scrubbing here or have one of the boys after we get this all situated to sand that we'll just touch it up with some paint um, and see what we can do to put it back up maybe um, I think I have some stainless steel pipe maybe this size I'll see and I think I've got some scraps of stainless maybe we can make our own mount right there but um, I was really sad to see this thing fall and break like that so we're gonna go inspect the others around here and see what kind of shape they're in also. You know I want you close Maybe hold your hand a little while Somehow I know You're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own We ride around in style Sleeves rolled up, glasses on Make that smile and my heart starts racing when I'm with you.